Tell me what we got going here. We got a school of Spanish sardines in front of us. Okay. And a lot of times they'll sit right underneath the boat or close to the boat. I'm gonna cast into them. Good. And we need these to catch big fish and we catch the big fish to catch giant fish. Yeah, I think I might have one or two on here. I'm, I'm trying for three. I think I got three now. Three Spanish sardines. Make that two. two one Spanish just popped off. I got my D hooker back there. I'm gonna put him in the live well. <laughs> Follow me. We kind of work the food chain from small bait to bigger bait to giant fish. We got Ben Chancy on the first bite of the day. Hey! Stop or pop, and that's Chancy style. That's right. Luckily, the bottom of the boat's freshly waxed. <laughs> <laughs> See how crazy they go? Yeah. That's a good start, Pete. This is what pumps Peter Miller up. He sees a sailfish, that boy's going nuts. And it was a big one too. Oh, yeah. It was like oh. an 80 pound yeah, sailfish. It was a big one. Free swimming sail. I throw the bait when I saw the tailor. Within five seconds, I was hooked up. I think I got him on. Got him? Yeah, I got him. Got him? There you go. Hey, look at that, baby, yeah! Get him, Peter! <laughs> and this thing is just absolutely freaking out. Are you kidding me, dude? It was really spectacular. <laughs> on the way back into the, the wreck we were actually gonna park on. Come on, baby. Another sailfish free jump. Oh, there he is, right behind us. Ben, I want okay. you to go around. Okay. Go in front, go ahead of him. Dude, you've gotta be kidding me. There's seriously, there's squads of them. There's like sailfish, we're just migrating through. Three or four free jumpers, and yeah. we, we're not even looking. There we go. I'm getting yeah. hooked up. Yep. Yeah, baby. Unless it's a bonita. It feels like a bonita. Woo! Full grown bonehead. Nice. Wow, this is super clear. Are those Goliaths? Yeah, you see them? Yeah. How pumped are you right now? One, two, three, four, five. Look at the Goliaths, bro. How am I going to get a bonita past these suckers, Ben? See, that's where the drama comes in. This is a scary wreck, as scary as it gets. Bonita are like bold to us because the Goliath grouper love the Bonita. And I see him pumping this Bonita in so fast and furiously, it was it was mind-boggling. Go, Ben, go! Look at that, what a pro, huh? It was like it was an aerobic workout, like second to none. And we caught Bonita after Bonita. Whenever you hook a Bonita close to Goliath grouper, as soon as your Bonita starts getting closer and closer to your boat, the Bonita's senses heighten and they start feeling those big fish. See how hard it is? Oh my God. They go crazy. Here he comes. Here he comes right there. So they end up going from fighting like a fish that might be 10 to 15 pounds to a fish that's fighting like 50 pounds. And you're having to land them in the quickest amount of time possible because if you don't, something's going to eat them. Here they come. Here come my boys. Look how big that one is. That one there is a 500 plus pounder. It's kind of like fishing in SeaWorld. <laughs> and when these fish came up to the surface, the Goliaths were just busting on them like a bass, eating a topwater lure. I mean, it was one of the most spectacular things I've ever seen. <laughs> we just got eaten. These fish are big, I mean huge. There's something really special about catching a behemoth, dinosaur-looking fish. I gotta handline one of these things, because in the past, I straightened hooks, I pulled hooks. That, my friend, is a hook. It just looks mean, doesn't it? I gotta be honest, it's very intimidating when you look down and you see a 300 pound or a 350, a four or five, a six, and you're dropping a 15 to 20 pound bonita in their face on this cable with this giant circle hook. I have 100 feet of rope. We shall feed you now. <laughs> you drop the bonita down. It's this feeling of uncertainty, excitement, adrenaline, pump. It's all combined into one moment. You don't know what's about to happen. Stuff could go wrong. There he goes. Woof. Another bite. All right, step on. Nope, came out. This was intimidating because you could get yanked over the boat and you knew it was gonna be a battle and you had to give it everything you had. If someone's got me, if he's got me, he's got me. You know they've got it? It's very, very intense. All right, now if you take off, let you go, let it fight, let it fight. When they turn and they come at you, you go after them as hard as you possibly can. There you go, woo! Now, now if you come in, keep it coming, keep it coming. If he doesn't stop, keep it coming. Holy shit! Wow, I caught a 300 pounder in 22 seconds on a handline. I was just 
beside myself with excitement. This is so cool that I finally beat it. So I was stuck on those 100 pounders with pulled hooks and bent hooks and broken leaders, and I finally did it, and I was really, really excited about it. Thank you. <laughs> Way to go, my man. We got Ben Chancy on guitar. Oh, he's on you. There we go, folks. Look at that, look at that. I train jujitsu, and I've been training for about eight years. I'm a guy that's physical in nature, and I like to do battle and have matches against things, whether it's people or animals. <laughs> so look, I put all that pressure, just like yeah. a seesaw. Yep. So see how I turn me back? Uh-huh. And when you battle big fish, you get to put your ability and your strength and your technique against everything that fish has. Need another lunker. He catches one about 200 plus. Good job, man. Hey, hey. That was easy for you, dude. You make this look too easy. Got a lot of experience. And then I get to take the hook out of that guy, and he's ready to do battle the next time I come back. I never want to stop fishing. I wanted to catch another Goliath. I wanted to try to upgrade my 300 pounder. Dude, they're so jacked. And I'm used to the captain saying, you know what, Peter, we've caught close to six, 700 pounds of fish. Are we good? He goes, Pete, we gotta make this happen, you know? I want to finish it out a certain way, so let's keep going. You can talk in my language. And I drop this bait down, I look. Big mama, oh my god, it's the biggest one. And I see this bigger fish, eat it. Did you get it? Yeah, it's in his mouth. And I'm like, oh my god, here we go. You turn, get him on me. Came off. Ah. And then finally we got the monster. Here we go. That's on, man, that's on. <laughs> Oh, that's what a big one feels like, Peter. I'm pulling on this big fish, pulling, 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 and all of a sudden the line kind of wrapped on my hand, and I looked at that and I said, uh-oh. Oh, 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 almost snapped my oh, neck off. Oh, oh. And it made my neck go whoosh. Yeah. Oh. That could have been really bad. I'm like, I almost lost you. Do you see my neck? <laughs> the line shot off my hand. You know, when you get line wrapped on your hand, you point it at the fish and you hope it unravels and comes off. Get him, man. Get him. Come on. Come on. We're going to get this one. He's right here. This is it. This is the one. Come on now. This is the one when you say, man, my back's hurting later on. <laughs> yeah. Biggest fish ever for you. There we go. <laughs> Wound up getting the fish to the boat. Ben's like, Peter. That fish is by far the biggest of the day, 400 pounds. So we got the biggest one Peter's ever caught. We caught it on the hand line, got it up, and it was an awesome fish in the way we wanted to finish it out. <laughs> we caught 1,000 pounds of fish. All right, let's let this guy go. There he goes. <laughs> Good job, man. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So here we are. We got all the tackle. I've got all the bait. I'm ready to fish another day. So I looked over at the chase boat and I got my right-hand man, Mike Finaguere. I work with him day in and day out on everything. I've got Alessia Andrade, who's been helping me for seven years at boat shows, iCast, events. It's not bad, right? I thought to myself, maybe I should invite them fishing to let them experience what we just experienced and just have some fun, have a little camaraderie. All we gotta do now is go catch bait. And if we can catch bait, I believe we can catch bonitas, goliaths, possibly sharks. So, so good. Let's catch a shark. Can we do that? There's a good chance. All right, well, let's do I'm it. I'm so excited. Let's go. Yeah. We got to the first spot. Look at this. Everybody's out here. Hey, Ben. And we're catching bait, and we put out the rods trying to catch bonita. All right, we got a fish. Dang, Mikey. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> it was such a good workout. Look at the guns. It, it felt so good. Damn, that's Damn. a big one. Mikey was the first one, but mine was the biggest. I'm winning. You are. Yeah. All I do is win. Whoa, it's a kingfish. So she's pumped. She's fighting them one after another. Sometimes people get tired. She's like, give me the rod. Dude, I'm impressed with you guys. Just the adrenaline, just it just takes over your body and, and you can't stop. Look where you cooked them. Oh, wow. That's called a snagarooski. It was on fire. We were catching bonita after bonita. 
want. You get one and then you want another one. Can we do sure. one more? <laughs> <laughs> and we're rotating. I got everything cooking and we're just slaying. Right in the tuchus. Oh my God. You're on two? Let's see who gets it first. I like the challenge. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh I just got eaten by a barracuda. Look, cut what? in there. Look at that. Look at mine. Oh get your God. zid, get your zid. <laughs> nice, fatty. We could have stayed there the entire day catching those bonitas and had a perfectly yeah. good time. But I had bigger plans. We needed to go to the Goliath spot to get a feast. We showed up at the spot. I was in the tower and I looked down and I just saw the Goliaths, like little submarines, little Volkswagens. You ready for handlining, Mike? Do not get wrapped on your wrists. Your anticipation is super high because you don't know what you're gonna tangle with. Wait till it disappears completely before you do anything. You had one bite, freaking out, you're so excited. I'm getting ready and I start pulling. And it comes tight. You feel him eat it? He just ate it. He just ate it. Let him sink. No, no, no he, he spit it. it. The fish are eating it, spitting it out. And I get this bite. Mike goes, oh, you get a bite, get a bite. And it starts going out slow, and Peter's like, all right, start pulling. Start pulling slow and come tight. I got you, I got you. Good job, good job. Nice job, Mike. Mike guy's doing it. Mikey's doing it. Oh my god. The line starts ripping out of his hand way faster than the Goliaths I caught the day before, to the point where I was concerned. I'm taking up your slack so you're not getting wrist wrapped. You owe me a buck. And then I'm looking at Mike, it's like, he's a strong dude, but 155 pounds maybe, soaking wet. See him back here? He's back behind the boat, he's gigantic. And I look, I'm like, oh my god. You got him, dude, he's I coming. Alessia, look at this thing. Oh you're my god. You're a big god. shark. <gasps> you got a bull shark, dude, oh. giant. Oh, oh man. man. And he goes down again. Mikey was a warrior. They call him Bull Shark Mikey. That's a beast. So we come up and this massive head comes out of the water like. Look at the head on that, Mike. Dude, that's the biggest shark we've ever caught. <laughs> Good job, man. We just stood there in awe as it thrashed around the boat. It was absolutely breathtaking. It was getting feisty and kind of angry at us. Oh my God. My forearms feel like they're about to fall off. Proud of you, Mike. You did it, man. But I knew that we had to get one more fish on so Alessia could be a part of it. When you're dropping down these semi-live bonita and you're dropping down the dead bonitas and the goliaths weren't committing. So I thought, let me butterfly one of these, make it easy for them to take it down. Sure enough, set it down. Two of them are fighting over it. Three of them fighting over it. Okay, okay, here we go. All right, he's going, going, go, 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 get him. Pull hard. Good, good, good. Got it started and Alessia cranked it up. She did not shy away. She came in and grabbed this rope, knees on the gunnel, butt on the bait well behind her. I had to give it my all. That was really powerful. And she did it like a pro. She's super strong. You were like locked in. Really? Like, yeah, pulling like, and you could see the muscles in your arms and everything. My guns? There. Yeah, you could see the guns. They got this fish up to the boat and amazement kicked in. Oh my God. <laughs> it's grilled. Oh my God. We finally get it up to the surface and it is giant. And uh, it's so soft and the fin is just, you know, he's just like, <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Waving it around. Combo teamwork. <laughs> oh man. She went on and she's like, high five guy. <laughs> high fin. In the face. <laughs> Perfect end to a great trip. It's all about the camaraderie and sharing those experiences together. I think that's one of the things that makes fishing so great.